uh, you can be very intelligent and very good at what you do, and you can still be stupid. I mean, a lot of people think these rockets, a lot of people think rockets actually lift off, they go up, arc over, they go down range, out of sight, and then they go into low Earth orbit, okay? They're actually in a pressureless or, uh, you know, zero gravity environment, okay? Because a lot of people think that a rocket thrust generator can propel a vehicle in space, in a vacuum. I think it's totally wrong. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. And I can show everybody how ridiculous it is by the use of this balloon car, which I've got here, which is a simple little uh, toy model. Uh, it's just a bit of cardboard, a bit of board off with four wheels, and it's powered by a balloon, okay? And the exiting air comes out of the straw, and there, okay? And we're going to demonstrate to everybody here who's, who's interested that this balloon car does not work how NASA says it will work, okay? Now, uh, let's talk, I talk to a lot of people about rockets and stuff like this, obviously, online, and they, they'll always say to me, Newton's third law of motion. A rocket will, will work and propel a vehicle in space because of Newton's third law of motion. To every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, if I apply that understanding to this balloon, okay, if I blow up the balloon, okay, uh, the exiting air from the straw, okay, will induce a force that pushes on the inside of the front of the balloon and will push the balloon car forward. This is how NASA tell me this balloon car will work, okay? To every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So I'm gonna demonstrate this in front of everybody, okay? So I'm gonna blow up this balloon car, okay? Okay, so we've got the uh, we've got the balloon car all fired up, ready to go. So remember, NASA tell me that the air inside the balloon, okay, is forced out of the nod, out, forced out the straw, okay, and that will induce a force that pushes in the opposite direction to in, on the inside of the front of the balloon, and it will go forward, okay, and we'll have motion. So let's have a little look. Five, four, three, two, one. Way! Excellent, isn't it? Great. Now, that was brilliant. Now, this is the good part. Now, if NASA are correct, okay, and they're understanding that Newton's third law can explain how this uh, balloon car works, then all we need to do is show that the exiting air is still exiting and the balloon, okay, is deflating, but there's no motion, then we can prove that NASA, NASA's ideas as to how this balloon car works is totally wrong, yeah? And there is an alternative explanation to how this balloon car works, okay? That's all we're here doing, you know, because I think uh, NASA is totally wrong. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this nozzle, okay, it's a very simple nozzle, cone, on the end of this straw. So we're not gonna uh, obstruct any of the air exiting the, that uh, straw there. And we're gonna allow the air to uh, exit the balloon. It won't affect the, uh, the force. It's allegedly induced inside the balloon and it will push on the front of the balloon and it should move forward, okay? This is what NASA is trying to tell us. To every reaction, to every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, okay. So here we go, we're going to put the uh, nozzle on the end of the straw, there we go, look, we've got it fitted, it's lovely, isn't it? This is great. So I'm going to blow up the balloon, 
And according to NASA, we should have motion. Okay, so we've got the balloon, we've got it all charged up. Now, if NASA's correct, and the exiting air from this balloon, okay, out the straw, will induce a force on the inside, at the front of the balloon, pushing it forward. So we should get motion, because the air in this setup is not being obstructed to escape from the, um, from the system, okay? So will we get motion? Five, four, three, two, one. None whatsoever. This demonstrates that a rocket cannot work or propel a vehicle in a vacuum of space. And the understanding that NASA are giving you about how rockets work is wrong. The Earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat, everywhere it's flat.